Hello, hello, happy Friday. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world. It's good to be back, good to see you all. Hope you've had a good week. I've had a, a week. <laughs> some ups, some downs. You know, how it is. I gave myself an extra day off this week because there was a holiday the previous week that I didn't give myself an extra day off for. Got some stuff done around the house. I have a, a bag with like a bunch of embroidery on it that a bunch of it had come loose and had like loops in the threads and stuff and so I put aside some time to fix that and I managed to do it and it like you can't tell that I fixed it from Unless you look really closely, because I was so scared that I was going to do a bad job. <laughs> but, uh, so I was very pleased with that. Still struggling on the sleep front. Part of that is because I'm very bad at going to bed on time. Slash early. Like, I do need to move my bedtime earlier, and I'm working on that. But also, Nora, my cat, one of my cats, she's just, I feel like she's been like more anxious the last couple of months and just multiple times through the night will like come to our bedroom door and just meow. Which is strange because she never used to do that. But definitely still improvements from a couple of weeks ago. So. <laughs> but let me say hi to everyone that's here already. We've got Brandroid, MJ Skyver, good to see you. Happy first of March. Bob, good to see you. Aki, Neri, Annie, Despair Doctor, good morning. Jalanth, randomly found this channel yesterday and listened to a bunch of it. Well, I'm glad you found me. Welcome. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Last Monday was Family Day in Ontario. Yeah, I think for us it's Louis Riel Day. Because Louis Riel, um, when he was alive, was viewed as something of a terrorist, but was pretty instrumental to the founding of Manitoba. So now we have a holiday named after him. But yeah, yeah, a few provinces have, have something. like a Louis Riel, Riel expert, but <laughs> all right. Also, um, everyone that's playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, happy, uh, Happy release day. I'm not playing because I've never played anything from Final Fantasy VII. I didn't play the original, I didn't play Remake, or any of the other spin-off type games that they've made. I'm starting to wonder if I ever will, but I'm like, maybe when the Remake trilogy, I think it's gonna be, is done. Like, maybe, I don't know. I just like, I have feelings about JRPGs. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like it takes a lot for a JRPG to like really impress me and it's not easy for a JRPG to like totally lose me and for me to just be like yeah okay I guess. <laughs> um, but um, why don't we, 
why don't we start with like some Final Fantasy music today? It doesn't need to be like a totally themed stream, although maybe I should have thought ahead on that, but a little bit of Final Fantasy might be nice. Pixie Puppet, you did make it. Good job. Jalith says, Chrono Trigger remains my favorite JRPG. I just finished playing Chrono Trigger for the first time on the weekend. And I felt surprisingly neutral about it. Um, but I think that's because I'm playing it for the first time 30 years after it came out. So, you know, things that were wildly impressive when it came out are now par for the course. So, you know. There we go. Okay, let's do the Final Fantasy Prelude to start today. Piece. Let's see. Actually, Pixie Puppet, now that you're like, you didn't send the notification in time, I, I almost forgot, forgot to hit live again today. I, forgot, I almost forgot to hit go live. I like started the intro music and stuff, and then I came back and I noticed that it said viewers waiting and not concurrent viewers, and I was like, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> so... I caught it this time. I caught it this time. It's happened before where I've been sitting here streaming to no one because I forgot to hit go live, but not today. Do I know of any tool to help turn audio music into sheet music? There's a song from a game that's practically abandoned. Um, I don't know any tools for that. Um, I feel like if you have MIDI, then you could probably do that, although MIDI converted to sheet music sometimes looks really bad and unreadable. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, 
I, I'm, I'm not the person to ask, I guess. I feel like there's got to be, like, you know, like an AI or something that can transcribe music. Like, at this stage in the game, but, like, I don't know about it. You sit there with the song on repeat and muse score open. Pretty much. That's usually how I do it. <laughs> there's a thing you heard of yesterday called transcribe. But having only just heard of it, can't vouch for it either way. Yeah. Might be something to, uh, to research. Sock, sock mentions in songs. I don't know why I titled it Heart Music to Put Socks On To today. It's just, sometimes I'm sitting here and I need to think of a title and something really random will come into my brain and I usually just don't fight it. I'm like, yeah, send it, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Um, okay. Let's, I wanna, I wanna play some Final Fantasy VII music today, because I actually don't really have any saved on my iPad. So let me first see what's on VG Lead Sheets, because that's always a little easier. Mm. Final Fantasy VII, they actually have quite a lot. Um, um, I kind of wanted to do the main theme, but they don't have it on here, I don't think. But let's. Hmm. I'm thinking I kind of want to play like Aerith's theme and Tifa's theme. But I'm like, ah, actually, I think that might be hard on a lead sheet, to be honest. So I'm just going to look them up. Let's just do that. <laughs> The randomness is fun in the titles. That's good. I'm glad. <laughs> I feel like that has been the case in the past of, like, when I do just roll with, like, the weird title. Um, people seem to like it, so that's good. Um, why am I not finding this? Let's see. I'm like, did Square go through and just, like, take down there? Any sheet music? I don't know. Um, let me see. Okay, I think I found something that will work here. So let me get that onto my iPad. <laughs> you stream every week, so if every title is new, they're going to sound like weird band names eventually. You're not wrong. Okay, let me just get this sorted. And... Da, da, da. Okay, let's let's start with Tifa's theme. See how this goes. I find this one is a little pedally, but I think it's been okay in the past. <laughs> I'm just gonna roll with it. Let's just roll with it. Alright.
this many sharps at once. Okay, let me just, um, oh no, they didn't even, they, they didn't even change the keys of here. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead. <laughs> I'm skip ahead. Nothing happened. There definitely wasn't a key change I skipped. flats coming out. I was like, I'm doing so good. I get to the next bar and it's like, everything is sharp. Uh, so <laughs> I think that key change would require a little bit more careful planning to pull off. But on the whole, on the whole, I think we did okay. <laughs> uh, thank you. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> that's Tifa's theme. I should really like arrange like Tifa and Aerith at some point, but I actually did try to do Aerith years ago. Like, I want to say, like, five years ago, I came up with a first draft of an arrangement, and then I was just like, I don't like it. <laughs> and then I never... Because the thing is, I think the Piano Collections version is, like, really good. And I'm like, I don't think I can do it better than them. I don't know if I can just play theirs and record it and, like, put that on Spotify. I, you know, I might be able to, though. Eh, I don't know. Anyway... I'm gonna take the scarf off. <sighs> Vicky, yar, feeling like a pirate today. Hammer shark, thank you. Thanks, everyone. Um, it's not specifically a link shark, but I feel like it's got like link vibes. If we were like, what do they call it? Like, if your fashion is like inspired by something, it'd be like Zelda bounding or something like that. I don't know. I'm not cool enough to know what that's called, but let's do Aerith's theme. So this is going to be like the, the arrangement that I started on but never finished. Uh, so at least it should be decent enough to read. I say that now, but <laughs> all right, let's find out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, I never finished that one. Um, but yeah, that spot where I was like, Ugh. it's because I had this low D written in, but right now it's tuned to D flat, and this one's D natural. So, that's why I said that. <laughs> but um, Are there any pieces for harp that use pedal changing as an intended sound, like play a note and while it's still ringing, change the pedal and have a trombone gliss effect? Yeah, that's called a pedal slide. said I really want a Legend of Zelda game where you play a Zelda while she goes to rescue Link. Yeah! Like, I think it would be really fun if there's like a Zelda game where it's like they get reincarnated but like the roles are reversed so it's like Link is like the prince and then like Zelda is like the like kind of country bumpkin that grew up with fairies or whatever. Like, I think that'd be so fun. Anyway, all right, um, okay, well actually it's pretty much time for requests now that I look at the clock. So um, yeah, if you have something you'd like to hear today, you can type it in the chat. That's usually how we do requests and um, um, basically I, I will try to do as many as I can. I can't always do all of them for various reasons, so thanks in advance for being cool about it. We appreciate it. Um, generally speaking, we stick to like video game, anime, Celtic music. Um, and I also have to have sheet music to read off of. Um, but yeah, if there's any requests, you can start requesting. Wild Mountain Time, if I'm in the mood. Yeah, I feel like I know it's been a while since we did Wild Mountain Time. Just hydrate a little bit. So I've been doing singing lessons, and it's just like, it's been really interesting because the way I sing has... And like I'm thinking about it a lot more and it's I feel like I haven't quite found sort of the natural place for my voice to sit a lot of the time but um yeah I don't know it's been fun it's been interesting but yeah all right let's do <sighs> let's do wild mountain time here see if I can remember the chords today <laughs>
Let's see. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Also, A Tracer, good to see you. TV, good to see you. Uh, 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 oh, we've got some good requests coming in. Okay, so um, Christine asked for Colors of Sunrise from Three Houses. Ooh, probably will be hard. <laughs> or The Clifflands from Octopath. That one definitely would be a lot easier. Um, let's see. Kirby's Epic Yarn for a sock-themed song. I feel like there's gotta be something. Or we could do like Yoshi's Woolly World or something like that. Um, Farm Boy from Final Fantasy VII. Uh, a Taylor Swift one we could do. We could do Enchanted by Taylor Swift if we want to. Um, uh -huh. Okay, let's start with the cliff lands, I think, from Octopath Traveler 1. Actually, last night I started a second playthrough of Octopath Traveler 2. I was just like, you know, I'm feeling it. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, this game is so pretty. It's so pretty, and the music is so good. Um, okay, the cliff lands, here we go. I decided to pick Ochet for my starting character, because I was like, you know, I think Ochet is really fun to play. I was like, I'm not gonna overthink it. All right, but for now, we're gonna do the Clifflands.
Plans from Octopath Traveler. I do really like that one a lot. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh my gosh, so many good requests today. Um. Okay. Let me do. Let me see if I can find the Kirby's Epic Huron one. <laughs> We'll see. Um, because I think that's funny. Okay. Kirby's. Oops. Has Patch Castle. Has a pretty gnarly key change at the end, but let's give it a go. <laughs> you're you're fighting monsters called Samantha seedlings. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Um. Okay. This is supposed to be fast. I don't think I'm gonna play it fast. Uh, so I think I'm just going to leave off the last section of this piece to just not deal with that. Or I could do it in B flat instead of B. It'll sound a little weird. Um, okay, well, let's give this a go. <laughs> I might just have to do this considerably under tempo because there's a lot of pedals, but let's give it a try. This is uh, Patch Castle from Kirby's Epic Yarn. <laughs> one second here. So I cannot keep them straight. Okay, I need a G flat, I need an E natural. Um, okay, I have to put the E back to flat and the G back to natural. I need a D natural and then I need a C flat. Okay, and then, and then I need the C to go back and the D to go back, okay. Okay. <laughs> What an adventure! Okay, let's go again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still messing this 
up. This is one of the hardest things, apparently, that I've tried to do in quite a while. Oh my gosh. Okay, last, last try for realsies. And then we will move on from this. <laughs> pretty with a little bit more time but <laughs> um oh my gosh MJ thank you so much for the ten dollars with the sticker also really appreciate that we'll make sure I didn't miss that um okay woof um okay let's try let's try the one that Neri was asking for the Final Fantasy 7 battle theme See how that one looks. Okay, Final Fantasy. Um, let okay. Let the battles. Okay, let's take a look here. Probably hard to sight read, but you know, I've demonstrated already. It's not enough to dissuade me. <laughs> Okay, let's try this. So, okay, let me just get a sense of what this piece uh, kind of is, is looking like.
too bad. It's a nice one to read, actually. It looked pretty good. Relaxed version. Yes. It's like a TPR version. <laughs> Do you guys know TPR? I think if you don't know him, you should look him up on Spotify or YouTube, because uh, if you like my music, I think you would love TPR. Um, and he he often does, like, on his, like, relaxing piano albums, take, like, the battle themes and, like, make a relaxing version of them. So, <laughs> yeah, no, there's no way I'd be able to say read that at speed, though. Not me. Yeah, TPR's amazing. He, he's been on Spotify making albums for ever, so he's got, like, a ton of albums, so definitely worth checking out. Yeah, he's got like Xenoblade, he's got Final Fantasy, he did Octopath 1 and 2. I actually got to play on his second one, which was really exciting. Um, he has like Pokemon and Animal Crossing and Nier and just like the man. Hmm. Are we back? I suddenly got a notification that my OBS dropped suddenly and disconnected. We're good. Okay, <laughs> that was really strange. Um, but if we're good, then there's no problem. <laughs> really weird. Um, but yeah, okay, good, good, good. Okay, I think we have time for one or two more requests and then our ending song. Yeah, that would have been a perfect time for the pedal emote for sure. Okay. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. How long have I been playing the harp? Um, <laughs> loading. <laughs> I think I started in 2008. So I think it's been 15 years. Because I started in the fall. So yeah, about 15 years at this point. Um, okay. What else did we get requested? Day. Okay, well we had Control Amarillo asked for the slopes of Blesher from The Witcher. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. it sounds cool. I feel like Witcher 3 is like really nice. I have found it. Okay, um, looks pretty doable. Let's give it a go. Okay.
All right. Green water, water bottle era. I know. Is this green to me? I, I think of it as blue, but I guess it's kind of a turquoise color, aqua, something like that. It's really amazing how quickly you got good at harp, knowing you weren't playing from age four, but seeing your old videos on YouTube and stuff. <laughs> yeah, so true. <laughs> it's so true. God, I, I was thinking about this the other day. When I was in university, I was like in my third year of university, and I made a video of Kakariko Village. And like now, that piece is like not hard. It's like quite easy. But I had such a hard time getting through because I, I used to do all my videos like in one take. And I didn't really splice or anything. Um, I've been doing that more recently now so I can like make stuff faster. But like it, I had such a hard time getting through it accurately that I slowed it down like crazy. It was a wild. And I was just thinking about that. And it's like, yeah, so you can go back and watch my old videos and see <laughs> how I used to play. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I learned really fast. It's kind of weird almost, but anyway. Okay. Um, oh God, I want to do another request, but I really shouldn't. Um, so I think we're going to, we're probably just going to do our Lon Lon Ranch to end, but there's so many good requests that I wasn't able to get to today. So definitely... Come back again for another Friday um, and request it next time because I would love to do more of the requests. Um, all right. Um, but yeah, so before we do our last song, I want to say thank you very much for being here. Um, as usual, totally like best hour of my week. Um, I had a lot of fun. I hope you did as well. Um, thank you to all of my patrons. I want to say a big thank you to you guys. Um, thanks for the, the super chats and stuff as well. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I need to shout out today. Um, I put up a new video last week of Crimson Loftwing from Skyward Swords, so if you haven't watched that, there is a link in the description of the live stream. You can check that out. Um, and if you're not on my email list, you can sign up for that as well, because I'll let you know when I've got new videos, when I've got new stuff going on. Um, if you're a harpist, I send out like harp tips once a month as well. Um, and you get a download of my original song, Departure. So. That's all my announcements. Thank you very much for being here. We're going to do our last song, which is um, The Lone Lawn Ranch. We always end with this song. Here we go. Okay, if you're not a harpist, consider being one of those two. Yeah, right. <laughs>
Have a great weekend. Get some rest. Drink some water. And I'll see you again next Friday.